to tell you about these elephants, but let us get introductions out of the way first. Nitty gritty out of the way. Let me tell you the story about these elephants because it's an absolutely marvelous one. Now around the camps at night, so where we live, there's a thing called an elephant wire. It's not electrified, it is simply a strand of wire at around sort of two meters in height at places high enough that um, it's sort of most people can pass underneath it without having to duck. Brent is a different story, but most people can get underneath it, but generally elephants can't get past it. However, there are gaps in it, places where the gates are, etc. And so what occasionally happens is elephants stumble in there. And that is what happened last night. So the guys sleeping at DRC were treated to the most amazing sounds throughout the evening of the Ellies munching away outside their window. That was less fun in the dark at around half past five this morning when Brent and myself needed to walk from where we've been staying, just sort of a little bit away from camp, kind of in the middle of the, the elephant wire but on the outside of the camp. Um, and Brent was the first to exit the room, it being after a long night, he went outside and he was greeted to the sight of a female elephant charging him. Um, now when you have an electric fence between you and the elephant, you do, when an elephant is coming full tilt, you're suddenly aware, despite the 8,000 volts between you and the elephant, you're very aware of how small that fence is. I then came out and she charged both of us once again, and then we had to try and get out of the gate and to the car to get to work and um, then she charged me in a separate occasion. So these poor elephants had been stuck there all night with people coming and going and they were absolutely terrified. Now you've got this movement in the dark. It was an inter interesting experience for both of us. I, um, I decided discretion was the better part of valor when all I could hear was her running through the bushes at me. So I jumped into the car before um, then shouting at her because I wanted her to stop but I also couldn't see where she was in the dark. So it was an interesting morning. The cool part was they waited until it, was got, it got light before they managed to escape the elephant wire and come back out into the open air. And there's nothing we can do in that situation. We just have to find a way. The elephants have to find their way out. The most awesome part of that whole story was that the elephants, that it was a small group. It was a group of about it was one female and her youngsters. They'd obviously become separated from the rest of the herd. And as we came out of the, to start the sort of the sunrise safari as we drove out, they were sprinting across quarantine and there was the rest of the herd. The rest of the herd spent the whole night waiting for them to come back out of the, the place that they were trapped in. They'd obviously been talking to each other all night. They knew exactly where to go. They ran in a straight line to be reunited with the rest of their group. Uh, isn't that just an extraordinary story? It really is truly magical. And you could almost sense the relief on the elephant or on the elephant's body language as they went racing across to join their rest of the family. Uh,